right, boys and girls, let's have some fun and draw together. Maybe even your parents would like to join us. Anyone in your household is really welcome. Today's project is for first graders, recommended for first graders. We will be drawing firebirds today. Um, they are a pretend bird, so you probably would not see a bird like this, but it's a lot of fun to put all these different shapes inside so you can color them in all different wonderful colors. You can see I did two. One, I did a black background, and this one I did not um, do the background black. I left it white. But that's what we're going to learn today. All you really need today is a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser. Uh, if you have some markers or colored pencils or crayons afterwards to color it all in, would be a lot of fun. All right, boys and girls, let's begin. Let's start with our shapes. I'm going to use a marker so you can see better. Remember to hold on to your paper with one hand, draw with the other hand. The first shape is a circle. Anywhere on your paper, you can use a scrap piece of paper also. Next shape is a dot. It's a circle, but we color it all the way in, so we call it a dot. The next, do you remember the name of this line? Very good, boys and girls. Horizontal. Can we all say that together? Horizontal line. Next line, you remember that one? Vertical. Very good. Vertical line. Very good. We have one more line. Remember the name of that one? Diagonal. Very good, boys and girls. Let's say it together. Diagonal line. Okay. Then we have our half circles. A U. An upside down U. Looks like a rainbow. A C and a backward C. All of these are half circles. So if we put them together, it would make a full circle. Then we have our angled lines, which are our V's. A regular V, an upside down V, which looks like an A without the crossbar, a sideways V, and another sideways V. Very good. Then we have a slightly curved line. Remember, it is not as, as curved as our upside down U or rainbow. It's not as straight as our straight line. That's why we call it a slightly curved line. Then we have our lazy S. Our lazy S laying down or horizontally, we call a hill and a valley. And then we've been doing spirals lately, which is just fun. So remember, you start in the middle. It looks like you're going to do a circle, but you go past that point and just keep going around. And remember, they make wonderful snails. That's why they're fun. All right, so those are our shapes. Remember, we're going to do them before every project because it just makes it easier for us to draw. I'm going to go ahead and use a marker today. You can use a pencil. Remember to draw lightly enough so you can erase something if you don't like it. Today my paper is the horizontal way so that I can uh, get both of my birds in. Let's remember to hold on to your paper, boys and girls, and draw with your other hand, otherwise your paper is going to slip around. We're going to start with one of the eyes. I'm going to start with the bird in front first. It's always easier to do the one in front and then you can do the one behind it because you see how in this one it overlaps, which also makes a nice, interesting composition. Uh, maybe you'd like to do three birds, another bird down there. So you decide where you're going to start your first eye. Let's talk about our eye for a second. It starts with a dot and then it has two slightly curved lines around it. Remember, those are our shapes that we do. Uh, we practiced footballs before. They make great footballs. They make good eyes. So we're going to go ahead and make the eye this way. Again, I'm going to start with my first bird right about here. I'm going to make a circle and then turn it into a dot. All right. Now I'm going to make a slightly curved line up here and down here, but I want to touch, make sure that I touch the dot. Okay. Same here. I don't want to make a U. I want to just slightly go under it and make sure that I touch that dot, boys and girls. All right. So we have one eye. Uh, this bird is facing in this direction, so we're going to start with his beak. Two um, half circles. It almost looks like um, a backwards three, 
The first one is actually going to touch the eye. So there's your first half circle. <laughs> and then your next one, touch this again and give me another one. Like I said, it looks like a backwards three. Okay. Now let's go to the middle line and do a straight line out. That's going to determine how long your beak is. So you decide how long that's going to be. Everybody's is going to be a little different. Okay. Now we do want to end in a point. So what's ever easiest for you, if it's easier to start here and go back to the half circle, you may do it that way. Or if it's easier just to come back to this half circle and go to the edge. So we're making a diagonal line, aren't we? To close in the beak. We need a little dot right here for his nostril. Okay. Let's look at the top of our head. It's not an upside down U at all. It's really a slightly curved line. So I'm going to start right here on my beak. I'm going to go back really with a straight line and then I'm going to start curving for his neck. And it's a nice long neck that you just bring all the way off the page. Now we have to make the front of his um, neck, which is slightly curves in, boys and girls. So you're going to start right here on the beak, hold on to your paper, slightly curve in, and come down. All right? Good job. We've almost finished our first bird. Now we want to put all these wonderful things on him. They're not really V's, upside down V's, because they're kind of, they're slightly curved just a little. So watch how I did this. You know you can do it any way you want, boys and girls, but this is how I did it if you want it to look this way. I'm going to start right here at the beak with a slightly curved line back. I'm going to touch that and then curve back in that direction. Now notice that I didn't touch the bird again, right? So I'm just going to continue to do that. Slightly curved line back, then come back again. Slightly curved line, and go back in the other direction. You see how I'm doing that, boys and girls? Slightly curve, touch it, and then curve back. I'm not going all the way to the bird. It doesn't matter if you do. That's just how I did it, right? So we're going to continue this all the way down, however you're able to make these, and you like them. I'm curving, and I'm going back. Slightly curve, coming back. Whoa. Boys and girls. And there went my easel. Mm -hmm. All right. That was fun, huh? All right. So let's continue. Hopefully I'm still on one frame. You guys can see everything. Great. All right. So if you did that, well, I didn't finish it all the way because I my easel fell. Okay. So we finished that. Now we get to make some wonderful designs in it. Think of all the shapes that we do every week before we practice. Um, I'm going to do some curve lines here. It's like a lazy S and then another one and another one. And then I'm just going to go in the opposite direction. If I start back at the eye, I'm going to go this way. So it almost looks like a ribbon effect. If you like the way that looks, you can try that. Then I even put more triangles in here, right? I tried to mirror the same shape I did, so I'm doing a slightly curved line, another one, but I am closing it in at the bottom. You design yours however you want, but make sure you have lots of different places so that you can make it look really colorful. So I'm going to even do some more here. I'm going to do these V's all the way down. And then I even like the dots here. The more patterns that you can get going in here, 
the more interesting your bird will look. Remember, this is not a regular bird we're making, so. Not a bird you'd see flying down the street. Okay. All right, so we have one done. Very good, boys and girls. Here's my other painting. Let's go ahead and do another one. As I said, I'm gonna do one back here. Now, if it's close and it comes here, that's okay. Remember how the overlapping is so nice. So if you do another bird and this line starts to come down, remember just to hop over what you've already drawn, okay? So this bird I'm gonna make taller. To me, it's a little bit more interesting. If they were all in a row, it's not quite as interesting to me. So I'm gonna go up a little higher. Remember, I'm gonna start with my dot. Then my slightly curved line, I'm gonna to touch the top of that dot with the, with the slightly curved line and touch it with the bottom too, all right? Then remember the next step, a backwards three. The first one actually touches the eye and then the next one, then remember the length of your beak is your straight line out you decide how long yours is going to be. Come back up to the half circle. I'm going to make a diagonal line because we want it to be in a point. Come to the bottom one, make a diagonal line. I want that to be in a point. I'm going to give him a little dot right here so he has a nostril. Remember we talked about the top of his head. It really is just a slightly curved line over and then come down for the neck, okay? Remember this, we're gonna curve in, slightly curve in right under the beak, and then come down, okay? Mine did not get close enough to this, so I didn't, don't have to do any overlapping. If I would have made these bigger, maybe it would have, but that's okay. And then remember what we're gonna do? However you decided you liked them on this way, a slightly curved line back, then touch it and bring your slightly curved line in the other direction. And you do it again. Back, then forward. Back, forward. Back, forward. Can you see me? Back, oops, back, forward. I'm trying to get my pen out of the way so you can really see it. So it curves out, then curves back in. Curves out, 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 back in. I'm gonna continue this all the way down. All right. And then if you like the way this was, I, I kind of like that. It gives it a little extra flair. So I'm gonna go in and make a mirror image of the shapes right here. So it's a curve and a curve back. The only difference is I close this one in. Okay, boys and girls, with me? If I'm going too fast, you can always stop the video. Okay. Now, this one, maybe you wanna do a little differently than your first one. I think this one I just did some wavy lines. Maybe another wavy line. And maybe one more. And then maybe I'll put some V's here. Sideways V's that is, right? Now let's see what else does it need. And maybe go. Oh. Spiral. I don't know. You'll have to see if you like the spiral. I'm not so sure. I think I might like these shapes better. But any shapes that you want are perfect. So, boys and girls, have some fun. We're going to draw one more thing our sun. Now remember, boys and girls, if you want a perfect circle, remember we've talked about this before, you use a template. 
So you look around the house and you find something that's round that mom and dad say it's okay for you to trace. Um, I'm gonna put, oops, I'm gonna put that right there. Remember how we do this? I'm gonna hold on to it. I think I'm gonna have some of the sun be behind my, uh, A little harder for me to do up on this board. So there the sun is behind him, so at least I have some overlapping. I do like that a whole lot. And last thing you're gonna do, boys and girls, remember you're the artist, so please sign your name and date it. Alright, boys and girls, I hope you had fun drawing with Miss Yvonne today. I miss all of you, and I can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.